Brisbane boys. Oh, Fremantle boys. Uh, Brisbane, boy. Fremantle on six wins at the moment. Brisbane on two wins. And thus, the odds there, tab.com.au with TAB Sportsbet. Let's have a look at the Fremantle side. A lot of changes. Mellington, Robert and uh, Silvani, Bradley, Palmer and Sandlands. They're all good signs going in. Grover out with the quad is probably the biggest out there. Uh, Van Berlo and, uh, and Bukovic uh, as well. What do you make of them, John? Yeah, look, plenty of uh, inclusions there, that's for sure. They've only won two of their last seven. Barlow back last week was a massive positive for, for Fremantle, especially with Mundy out of the side. He had 25 touches. Greg Broughton continues to improve off half-back, and he's certainly been a shine for the Dockers this year. But the biggest thing for me, BT, is just their turnovers at the moment. They're just killing them. Last week they had... 72 points scored against them from direct turnover. So that's the area of the game they must improve if they're to go on to play finals this year. Not very often at the elite level you see teams actually throw the towel in. I thought Fremantle came very, very close, if not went over that line uh, in the last quarter last week. Didn't get a yelp, did they, really, last week, which no. was really disappointing. I, I, know, say, yeah, I did see Matty Pavlich hobbling oh, right, around right. a fair bit oh, towards the... Where's the leadership yeah, to yeah. grab it by the neck and say, boys, this is not good enough, I want to do something about this. Stop it. Where's someone in that run of seven goals in the last quarter going to jump in there and say, this has got to stop? Well, we haven't seen it, so... Um, but I can't answer it. I tell you what, you did uh, mention uh, comebacks. I want to just go through my top five comebacks of all time. First of all, Kim Kleisters, of course, uh, came back and oh. she won uh, the US Open and Australian Opens after having a uh, baby uh, pick. Yes. I don't know whether you know that. I did know uh, that. Michael Jordan came back after having won, I think it was three championships, won another mm -hmm. three, one of the greatest comebacks of all yeah. time. Lance Armstrong, what about him? Testicular cancer, come back, win yeah. seven tours. Right. Absolutely yeah, wait, wait, amazing. What's all this about? Right this is, I'll tell you where this is heading. It's heading up Muhammad Ali Ali because he's my number two of the greatest comebacks. Three years out of yeah. not doing national yep. service or whatever. Yeah. And then we got this man. Oh, no. You're not Michael Barlow, Barlow's yeah. comeback at the oh. Free Mantle Dockers. Yeah. 24 disposals, yeah. Yeah. led all disposals at the Free Mantle Dockers. One of the best on ground. I like him. Remarkable I like, I like comeback. Him, but... If you want to break it down, he kicked it at 25%. Yeah, so his he kick kicked was the opposition. Yeah, he was kicking. 20% it was, actually. So a fifth of his kicks <laughs> were going to the opposition. <laughs> no, 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 the opposition. He got it. He's a ball oh, magnet. No doubt. I love the way he plays, but your obsession with him is just becoming Matt, ludicrous. Him and Matty Cruiser. Two of the great comebacks of all time. Well done to both of those two. These guys, really the ESPN these guys here, Michael Barlow, we look, give you nothing. We, and think it wasn't any good. No, no snap leg in half. Oh, we don't think that, but fair think His leg was like that. Well, I'm glad well, that was his leg. Yeah, no, I thought he was going to do that to spot me all. for him, but you just, you've got a man crush on him. Let's have a look at uh, <laughs> Brisbane boys. They play uh, the Fremantle Dockers. A couple of changes. Oh, Collier, Drummond, Banfield, Clark and Green are all out of the side there. And a few coming in for Brisbane as well. Won just the two games this year, Shorey. Well, uh, it's amazing. They won three of their last, at, uh, last four at Patterson Stadium, which is an incredible record, but they're 16th in disposal effectiveness the last month. That probably sh uh, shows the whole story or tells the story about Brisbane Lions. They're worse at conversion. Contested possessions are down. Um, look, I'll tell you what, boys, with all those players out, when you talk about Drummond, Clark, Collier, Banfield, there's three forwards mm. right there now. But I want to show you something because this is pretty important when you think about... How you go into your forward line, I think is so important. If you want to go to one player, and we've talked about Favola, the history of Favola, yeah. if you want to go to one player all the time, have a look what happened last week. Yeah. Now, there's Carnesis, right? Young Carnesis, and Patrick Idrick is a good player. Four times, Collier four times, 21 times to Jonathan Brown. No wonder this bloke cannot get a possession. I'll tell you, he had three players hanging off him for the last month. Who, it cannot work that way. Who wins it, given that, Shorey? Oh, three men are by a mile. Pickers? Uh, they're not by a mile, but they'll win. Jonathan Brown. Well, let's jump into the next game. Of course, Geelong play 